Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be making a Jersey cow. So I have my cow shaped sugar cookie here and I'm going to start by outlining the top of the face and just disregarding the nose for now. So I have a chocolate brown royal icing here. This is a piping consistency and I have it fitted with a number two tip. Next, I'm going to flood in this entire area with the same chocolate brown, this time in a flooding consistency that I have here in a squeeze bottle. And I'm just filling in the entire area and you can see that I have a squeeze bottle that has a coupler attachment and I always use a number four for flooding, but a regular squeeze bottle will work as well. And I'm just going to use my scribe tool here to get all that icing towards the edges and pop any air bubbles. And I'm just going to let that brown crust over for about 15 minutes. And I'm going to finish off the flooding with the nose. So this is a black piping consistency royal icing fitted with a number two tip. And I just outlined the bottom of the nose here and I'm going to fill it in with the same color, this time in a squeeze bottle. And of course this is a flooding consistency and I have it fitted with a number four tip. Um, but if you don't have a coupler attachment on your squeeze bottle, any squeeze bottle will work. And I'm just using my scribe tool here to get all the icing towards the edges and pop any air bubbles. And I want these flooding layers to dry completely, so that's about six to eight hours of drying time. I always do my flooding one day and then I'll do my detailing the next. It's good to kind of break up the steps that way, especially if you're doing a lot of cookies. And to give the cow a bit of texture, I'm using a white gel food coloring here and a fine brush and I'm just gently kind of adding some wispy lines to the top of the nose as well as where the eyes are going to go and in the ears as well and I'm just using a really light feather touch here. Basically I just get a little bit of white food coloring on the brush, wipe off as much as I can and then just gently kind of feather it onto the cookie. And I've let this white dry, it doesn't take long to dry, just a few minutes. And I'm going to use a black food decorating pen, I'm going to use the fine tip end for this. And I'm just adding three eyelashes for each eye. And I've got some black piping consistency royal icing here. This is a number one tip this time. And I've just piped some dots for the eyes. And I'm going to do two circles for the nostrils and then a nice big smile on the bottom. And to finish it off, I've got my same chocolate brown royal icing here that I use for the face. This is a piping consistency with a number one tip. I'm just doing some lines in the ears for a little bit of definition and then three little tufts of hair on top of the head. And you can see the finished Jersey cows here and of course you could always change up those colors depending on what sort of cow you're making. Now to give you a little bit of a background on this particular cow, I based it off of L'Oreal which is actually a show cow that made an appearance in a local video announcement back in 2016 um, for the opening of the Cowbell Brewing Company which is in Blythe, Ontario and that's just a 15 minute drive from Goddard, Ontario which is actually where I live. And so if you're ever in southwestern Ontario you'll definitely want to check out Cowbell. Um, not only can you walk the entire brewery at your own leisure, their restaurant, bar, and general store are full of amazing food and drink, and you can also find these uh, cow sugar cookies for sale in the Cowball General Store. A special thanks goes out to Full Pop Media for letting me use their cow footage, and thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye!